<sighs> Good morning. Mike Scott here, the movie critic at the Times Picayune in New Orleans and NOLA.com. Welcome back to the Movie Cave for today's Popcorn Breakfast. Today is Monday, September 8th, 2014. And you know, after last year's banner year for New Orleans shot films at the Academy Awards, it was looking like this one was going to be a decidedly slower year for locally shot film. And then last week we got word that 99 Homes, the locally shot drama starring Andrew Garfield and Michael Shannon, would emerge as a possible Oscar contender. And now this weekend, yet another locally shot film has emerged as a possible award season contender. And that is the legal drama Black and White, starring Kevin Costner and Octavia Spencer as at the opposite ends of a custody battle over a mixed-race child. It premiered over the weekend at the Toronto Film Festival, received a really warm reception, uh, a standing ovation, and Scott Feinberg of The Hollywood Reporter reports that now it really catapults itself right into award season conversation, specifically for the performances of Costner and Spencer. Now, the tougher road there is for Costner, just simply for the fact that the lead actor category is extremely crowded at this point, but also the fact that uh, for Spencer, although the, the, the category is less crowded, she gives a, a really good performance. She, of course, won for Best Supporting Actress a few years ago for The Help, but she's got a, a reportedly a, a, a performance here that's filled with dramatic moments as well as a couple of comedic moments, so it'll be interesting to see where this, where, where, where this film goes. It's still seeking distribution, but it won't be long before it's snapped up. Incidentally, New Orleans audiences will get their first look at Black and White in October when it opens the New Orleans Film Festival. Now, also, really, the hot title uh, this weekend at the Toronto Film Festival is Top 5, written and directed by stand-up comic Chris Rock. It, it, not only did it receive a, uh, a standing ovation as well, but it also reportedly sparked a bidding war among no fewer than seven different distributors trying to get their hands on this one. At last report, according to Deadline, the offer was $12.5 million for the film and counting. Who knows, it could go higher. You know, just for comparison's sake, last year, the big uh, acquisition at Toronto was for the, song, uh, for, for the film Can a Song Save Your Life? That one went for $7 million. So it'll be interested to see where, where top five goes. And then finally, today it's Monday, so we have to talk box office. And it was an exceedingly slow weekend at the box office, one of the slowest in a few years, according to Box Office Mojo. And so no surprise then that the big winner once more was Guardians of the Galaxy. This is its fourth time in the number one spot at the box office. It's actually Marvel Films' first film ever to, re to claim the top spot four times. Uh, it, it's also, you know, it was the biggest film of the summer, and now it's the biggest film of the year. So it looks like there's no slowing down Guardians of the Galaxy. One interesting thing to note, though, that it's U.S. Uh, box office receipts total about $300 million at this point. That's really only about half of what uh, what the Avengers did, another Marvel title. So how can, it ha how can the Guardians of the Galaxy have more weekends in the top spot of the box office but make so much less then the Avengers, well, it has everything to do with the time of the year that Guardians of the Galaxy was released. It was released at the tail end of an already slow summer. And then these weekends where it's getting that number one spot, it's dominating really low competition like The Identical, which uh, bombed over the weekend. That was the only new release for this past weekend. Uh, and so, again, it's, these are historically slow weekends, these past few weekends at the box office. Not to take anything away from Guardians of the Galaxy. It's still an extremely popular film, and it's doing very well at the box office. Sequels are on the way, but just to put it all in perspective there. And that's all the time that I have for today. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Mm.